Welcome! Welcome to the famous Sneakin' In Special. Here. Here's your ticket. Very good, madam. In you go. Now listen up and let me explain the rules. Participation in the tour is strictly at your own risk. Whatever happens, it ain't our problem. And that's it. Got it? <laughs> I found you! It's me. <laughs> you sure this is a good place for you to be? You can see it, can't you? This place is going to be Chaos City soon. Lumina. The sea of chaos that laps at your heels. It's one of Yusnan's biggest sights. It's like part of the show. <sighs> wow, would you just look at it? The chaos is going to swallow everyone up. I think the savior has to do something. Since it doesn't seem our patron is doing much locked up in his palace. What's no thinking? Oh, he's not. At least not about the city. He's just thrown his arms up and given it all up. He's pacing back and forth in that little room of his, waiting for the world to end. You know why, right? It's all because of you-know-who. She's the reason he's dead inside. You mean Sarah? That's it. You aren't so dumb after all. Of course it's Sarah. Snow's never been able to let go of her. Do you know how many years Sarah's been dead now? Even so, he goes on pining and dreaming and wishing. He basically wore every bit of himself away. <laughs> and now there's nothing of Snow left inside. <laughs> so sis, how about letting Snow free already? For his own sake. If you ask me, it's time he got out from under all the gloom and memories. <laughs> because otherwise, the only thing he has left to look forward to is the end of everything. I'm fine. I fell into the warehouses. Which way do I head from here? Let's see. I guess that you're near the Augur's Quarter. Start by getting out of there, and quick. Something happening? I'm picking up strong chaos readings all over the city. I can't say what'll happen. Just hurry to the palace. The cargo line has been severely damaged in an accident. Investigators are currently assessing the damage. Early indications are that the woman calling herself the savior was involved. The palace has been locked down as a security measure, and the distribution of supplies has been temporarily... Light, things aren't looking too good. I, I hoped you could hide amongst the deliveries to the sneak in, but... But what? Change of plans? Sure, I guess you could say that. For some reason, the service entrance was suddenly forced to lock down. That path is close to us now. It's not certain why they suddenly closed shop, but it was about the same time that my chaos centers went haywire. That kind of reaction? 
It can only mean two things. If we're lucky, it's just a new chaos infusion. If we're not, then it's a Seath. If Snow has finally lost his grip and become a Seath, we'll... He'll be nearly unstoppable. Light, pull back for now. We need to find out more. I'm not done yet. Hope, start thinking up a new plan. One way or another, I'm getting into that palace. But, Light... Seath or not, nothing's changed. I am gonna save him. Well, after I beat some sense into that annoyingly thick head of his, that is. <sighs> okay, Lightning. We've gotta give up on the service entrance. There is one other plan I had considered. It's pretty destructive and definitely dangerous. Doesn't matter. What is it? As you can see, the palace is surrounded by a formidable wall. All ways in and out have been locked down, and there's no tunneling under it either. It looks quiet, but trust me, that wall is too well guarded to try and sneak over. Yeah, um, can we get to the point, Hope? There's no path, so you have to make one. A show is about to start here in the Augur's Quarter. A show with one fantastic finale. At the climax of the show, a stage and an actor on it is propelled up to the top of the set by a little rocket power. And you want me to climb onto the set and jump into the palace? I hate to break it to you, but that's a pretty big leap. Not if you can topple the set and form a bridge. Then you can just simply walk across. It'd be easy. <sighs> I'm not sure that easy means what you think it does. Fireworks are launched all around the theater at the finale. If you increase the number of fireworks, well, you could weaken the set enough to bring it down. You were telling the truth about it being destructive, weren't you? And you don't have much choice. I guess I've just got to keep moving. Keep your eyes front. All right. That's the spirit? Hope. Does that mean you'll be watching the rear? You'll have my back. Of course I will. That's what I'm here for. There. You must be in charge around here. And just who might you be? Just someone who wants tonight's show to go down in history. Doubling or tripling the fireworks should do the trick. Enough to scare the patron out of his den. Did you escape from some mental hospital? I'm just an old friend of the patron's. He never shows his face, so I worry. He's not the type for flowers, so I thought I'd send him a good show instead. Three times the fireworks? That would cause one hell of a stir. Yeah. This city could use a good stirring. If not at the end of the world, then when? Not much point playing by the rules now. <laughs> I like your style, lady. And you're not wrong by any means. Half of Yusnan's already sunk under that wretched cloud we call chaos. Let me get the fireworks. I'll make sure we have more than enough. But it's gotta be today. Hell, let's do it. Uh, but this conversation never happened, Capiche? If you need help with the fireworks, the stagehands can help you out. I'll make a couple of revisions to the script. This'll be a show they'll never forget! What's up? Change of plans. We're upping the amount of fireworks in the finale. At least double, maybe triple the number. And why is this the first time hearing of it? Let me guess. It's that blasted director's idea, isn't it? Folks can call him a genius all they want. But that doesn't mean I'm a miracle worker. But I suppose complaining to you won't help the situation. You're one of his assistants, right? And you know what I'm talking about. You're probably feeling the blunt of his capricious behavior as much as I am. Then help me. Can you add more fireworks to the show? I want to say no, but even if it is impossible, I'll still have to do it. That's my job, after all. All right, I'll do it. But I warn you, it'll be anything but half-assed. But you're gonna have to help me out. I'm out of gunpowder, so I can't make any more fireworks here. There are pyrotechnicians all over town who launch fireworks to mark the hour. You know that, right? Here, I'll write you a note. Show this to any pyrotechnicians you meet. 
I'll give you what they can spare, but you're gonna have to move fast to get them home. By the way, my pyrotechnician buddies aren't the only source of fireworks. Buy some, haggle for some, do whatever you need to do if it gets us the firepower we need. We just have to be sure that we have enough. Everything else will work itself out. I found. Here you go. Make sure you don't lose it again, okay? <gasps> my doll! You really found it! Oh, thank you, thank you! My mom gave this to me. She's gone now. She got swallowed up by the chaos. It was 200 years ago. Maybe longer. If this doll was safe and sound inside the chaos, that means my mom is okay too, right? It means she's watching over me from far away, right? <laughs> 